Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last few videos, I have discussed how to define the functions and how to call the functions in Python. I hope you have watched those videos. If you did not watch those videos, I request you to go back and watch those videos and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss how can we pass the entire list of elements as a parameter or an argument to the function. I hope you will enjoy this video. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. Now let me write a program for understanding the how can we pass the entire list of a elements as a parameter to the function. To do this one what I will do is that I will take a list of elements and I want to print how many even numbers are there and how many odd numbers are there. Now let me write the program for you. I will define a function called count and it will pass a, a parameter called list lst not list it is list which is a list of elements okay. Once I get the list of elements I need to count the even numbers and odd numbers. So now let me write it as even is equal to 0 and odd is equal to 0. Okay, so I am defining two variables even and odd and I am making the values as 0. Now how can I access all the elements in the list by using a loop. So for i in lst, okay, so this i will starting from the first element and it will go up to the last element. Now what I will do if i the first element let's take that is equal to equal to 0 if you divide that one by 2 if you get the remainder as 0 then what is the significance of it the element is an even okay so then what you have to do you need to count the or increment the number of even numbers so you can write the statement as even is equal to even plus 1 okay else if the element is not an even number, what is the significance of it? It is an odd number. So you can write odd is equal to odd plus 1. Once this for loop is done, then you need to return the number of even numbers and odd numbers. So you can return both the variables return even comma odd. So in Python, you can return more than one parameter also from the function. Is it clear? So this is about the function definition called count. Now let me write the main program. Okay. So what I need to do is that I need to create a list. Okay. Called LST and I can write the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. 10 like this. Okay. So these are the list of elements are there. Then this function will return two values. So I can write even comma odd okay, is equal to I need to call that function called count and I need to pass the parameter called lst which is a list. So this is the way you can pass the entire list of elements as a one parameter to the function. Okay, then I need to print the even numbers the even numbers count is or the number of even numbers whatever you want to write the even number count is i can write even i hope it is visible for you okay and then i can similarly print the the odd number count is whatever you want to write here you can write okay so this is the program. Now look at what will happen. So first you will have a list of elements consists of 1, 2, 10. That you are passing to a function called count as a parameter called lst. So the control will go to the function definition. Now you have a, a variable called even and it is initialized to 0. And you have another variable called odd. It is also initialized to 0. Is it clear? These are the two local variables. So for i in list, so first i will consist of value 1. 
1 modulus 2 will be equal to 1. But here it is saying that 1 is equal to 0. This condition is false. If you divide 1 modulus 2, 1 modulus 2, the remainder will be 1. So this condition will be false. So the odd count will be increased. So odd will become 1. Then once it is done, again the control will go to the for loop. Now next time the 2 will come. 2 modulus 2, you will get the remainder as 0. So even count will be increased. Because this condition will be true. Once this condition is true, the statements which are there in the if block need to be executed. The next 3, odd count will increase to 2. Next time 4, even count will be increased. Then next time 5, odd count will increase to 3. Next time 6, even count will increase. Okay. Next 7, odd count will increase to 4. Next 8, even count will increase. I hope you are able to understand. Then 9, odd count will increase to 5. Then 10, even count will increase. Okay. So, after the entire list, the even and odd is having the value 5. That you are returning. Return 5, comma 5. So, once you return it, the control will come here. So, now even will have the value 5. Odd will have the value 5 that you are printing. For better understanding, I will discuss this concept in Jupyter Notebook for you. Let me define a function called count. So, I am writing a keyword called def and name of the function I am writing it as count and it takes one parameter which is a list. So, I am writing it as lst and then I am taking two local variables called even and I am assigning to 0 and similarly odd is equal to 0 and then I am writing a for loop for i in lst if i modulus 2 is equal to is equal to 0 then what you can say i is in even number then what you want to do you want to increment the even variable by 1 else if it is not an even number then obviously it will be an odd number so then i want to increase the odd count by one then what i will do i will return the even and odd variables so now we are returning more than one variable okay now look at here i will create a one list called lst having the elements one two three four five 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Then what I am doing, I am taking two variables, even comma odd is equal to. Now I will call the function called count and I am passing the one parameter which is the list. So we are passing the entire list as a one parameter. Then I want to print the, the number of even count or the even number count is and I want to write it even okay similarly I want to print the the odd numbers count is and I will write the variable odd now if I run the program I will get the output as the even numbers count is 5 and the odd numbers count is 5 is it clear so this is the way you can pass the the entire list as a parameter to the function. I hope it is clear for you. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.